Well, navigation is um, you're 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 effectively creating your own navigation menu. So there there is the pad tree within Synergy, which groups all the reports and screens into this meth method, where we have the different menu options, and we can drill down to those menu options. Um, but if you just wanted to see a, a truncated list of screens and reports, you could create your own effectively. Bookmarks are just a list of screens that you might access regularly, but they're just a list. Yep. Okay. Secondary Avid report here. So, okay. Let's say we wanted to create a grade uh, nav group. So I'm going to pop out my nav menu. Hello. Right click over navigation, add new group, call it grades. And we'll say, um, let's put the transcript in there. Right click on the title of your screen or report. So we're going to add to group grades. And let's put in student course history. No need to shout, sorry. Add to group grades. And now when you hover over it, you have your nav group. Press and hold a link if you wanted to move it or if you wanted to actually get rid of it, move it into this remove area. If you wanted to rename a nav group, right click on it, click rename. And then you could also click edit groups, say if you wanted to remove a group or if you wanted to put it in a different order, then click done. So what I just showed you is creating a navigation group in Synergy. This is something that you're creating yourself. Uh, you have full control over the setup and you're basically creating these different nodes for your um, regularly accessed screens. And so screens that you go to frequently, they're saved. There is that called bookmarked? Well, no. uh, bookmark is something else. So okay, this is so a this nav one's group. called what? This is a nav group. Okay. And a bookmark is is this thing. So that's that's something a little bit different. Okay, so you're sh currently showing us a navigation group. So frequently navigated to sites within Synergy are saved in your tab bar so that you can get right to them versus having to pull them up in quick launch? Correct. Okay. Um, of course, Synergy gives us uh, a number of different ways to do the same thing. So another way to go about that is through bookmarks. Bookmarks are simply a list of screens in the order that you could, that you want to move them into, but it's just this long list of screens and what you have here is a chevron next to any screen or report. When you click it, it turns blue and then appears in your bookmarks list. So that's just a list of screens that you're bookmarking for easy access, but it doesn't give you the ability to group them or, or anything else other than put them in the order that you want to do. Okay. And, and in order to uh, bookmark a screen, you would simply click on the chevron next to any report or or screen. And so you should see the, the little uh, bookmark icon there. And then when you click on it, it shows up in bookmarks. Okay. That is something else again. And it's sort of the same thing that we've... Um, it's another flavor of what we've been talking about. So um, <coughs> if you right click on your reporter screen, 
Another option we have here is add to quick nav. Oh. So this is, this is quick nav here. And what that does is it, when you click it, it pops out another screen. I don't think you're seeing this pop out, this um, student screen pop out. Um, but what that does is, um, so let's say you're on student course history, you could pop out the student screen and then it should pop out that same student with their student information already uh, available to you. So again, right click, add to quick nav, and then now we have that report or screen available to pop out again. Okay, so. Yeah, I think, I think it should be noted that this is navigation or either these are navigation assistances, just how to move around the menu. Mm -hmm. And like Adrian said, there's there's at least three different ways. It's it's a very personal choice. So 